all over the world. Let them go on the ground and generate data just like Ghana did. They can get the data. Tell us how is the virus behaving in your own country. Check it, get the data. And based on the data you get, use that to decide what to do with your nation. Do not lock your nation down because somebody predicted there will be 500,000 deaths in the next two months or because somebody is predicting there's going to be 10 million deaths in the next three months. No, use the data that you can generate by yourself to decide whether to continue to lock down or to lift the lockdown, which is what Ghana has now shown leadership in doing by lifting it partially. And of course, as, as soon as they have lifted partially, it's going to continue to happen. That will until it gets everywhere in the country. And I want to say a very big thank you to you, President Nana Akufuado. You are a man of your words. You are a man of action. I know that you are a great president. And what you have done is you have now shown a strong leadership. You have lifted the cloud of fear over the citizens of Africa, not just Ghanaians alone. Do you know what you have just done? You have given life to so many people in Africa. And we will never forget you for this. And you have to be specially rewarded for what you have done today. We are now calling on all the other presidents across Africa to tow the path of the Ghanaian president. If data could be generated by Ghanaian doctors, why can't it be generated by Nigerian doctors, by Ethiopian doctors? by Kenyan doctors, by South African doctors, so that Africa is opened up for business again. This man is thinking about the suffering people of Ghana. Everybody should do this. And this is to say that we are about to be open for business. God has answered our prayers. Congratulations, Republic of Ghana. Congratulations, Nana Kufado. We are with you. God bless you real good. <laughs>